Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. That is Del Chanel 48th World, where we get down with all the reviews. Yes, I am back for another must-see video. But before we go into the video and all the antics I have to give you all today, this Saturday, October 26th in the ATL, that's where I was born and raised. You can call me a native Southern Peach. All right. But I definitely want you to continue, continue, continue to subscribe to my channel. Let's blow up together. Like and share my videos as always. And definitely hit that notification bell so you can definitely get or be the first people that come to my channel for my new video. And like I said, I definitely still need your help. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs, okay, before June of next year. If you can help me with it, I truly appreciate it. And I want to thank you all for your continued support. Thank you for my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and my subscribers that are on the fence but really want to come on over to my channel and be uh, accounted for, okay? Come out them bushes, come out them skies, come out the skyscrapers and hit that notification bell. Hit your signature for supporting me. That's me subscribing to me. And let's get on into reviews together. News you can use. Well, we're back in the dirty south as usual. Atlanta, Georgia, baby Hollywood is what some people like to call it. And I'm believing it because the traffic is horrendous. And we get down with my girls, my ladies, the Real Housewives of Atlanta and all their antics. And we be serving up tea each and every day on them because they don't give me a break. They always be doing something out there. And then you got my girls on merit to medicine. They are in their uh, physician type fields, their careers. Some of them are, de well, one of them is a dentist and some of them are internal medicine and some of them are in the baby group. Okay, OBGYN specialties. Yes, they're giving it all to us and they're all from the ATL or they live in the ATL. So I'm going to say they're from the ATL. But let's get on into the story in which you all came for. It's brought out by MTO. Media takeout news. I know some of y'all get down with them. Some of y'all don't. But it just is what it is. It's just news. It's just entertainment. And you can take what I give that I got from them and digest it however you feel. Some people may have strong opinions about it. Some people may be on the fence, don't know whether to go here or there. And then you have your definite ones that will sit down and tell you what they feel about you and your platform and then give you the end result of the subject at hand. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. But let's get on into this article. It was written by staff or a journalist, they don't give the person's name. I guess they ain't over there trying to highlight nobody. If they get a paycheck every week or every two weeks, I guess that's good. All right. Then that, that means they're doing something good if they still on payroll. But they titled the article Atlanta Housewives Insider Spills All the Tea of the Upcoming Season. And that's season 12 we're talking about. So make sure you get your TVs tuned in. They come in on Sunday, Easter Standard Time, I think around eight o'clock. So it might be nine, but I think it's eight. Uh, Eastern Standard Time Zone. But hey, they give us very good points. And it's really 11 of them, if, in a matter of fact, of speaking, okay, of what is going to be shown on the season of 12 for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Atlanta. Shall we get into it? Shall I proceed in my little Kim voice? Yes, indeed. Okay. It says um, a Bravo insider. See, they drop the tea already. A Bravo insider just spilled the tea on all the storylines from the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. The insider reached out to media takeout news with details on all the major storylines. It's a lot to read, but if you're a real fan of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, it's worth it. And I know it's worth it. So y'all coming over to the channel, sit down, get your wine, your coffee, your tea, your orange juice or whatever beverage you want to bring in the house. Meaning BYOB, bring your own bottle. We can sit down and we can talk about this situation. We get in the discussion questions. And you know I'm going to have some polls on them, okay? But if you haven't taken the polls for uh, this week, make sure you get in because it closes on, um, what do you call it, midnight of Saturday going into the Sunday morning. And I would have results by that morning or that afternoon, okay? And then we'll start another whole poll like ain't never, nothing ever happened. We're moving on to another week and you know they're going to have more to talk about and i like to get your opinions so i post polls out there so y'all can continue to stay uh interactive with me and we can have thorough communication throughout the week okay but anyway going back to the article it says we warned you guys it is filled with spoilers now here we go here's the tea they breaking out 
for us from Media Takeout News from me to you. Number one, the season started with Dennis cheating rumor and Bravo made the cast talk about it because Bravo was pissed at Portia. Basically, after the baby spinoff, Portia launched a monthly subscription service called Peach Lemonade, which will live stream their day-to-day -day life and app to make their own don't be tardy for the party. And this was also Dennis' idea. Remember the opportunists? <laughs> I don't know where these women getting these men from that want to capitalize on their wealth. Okay. But it was Dennis McKinley's idea to do something separate on the side, not featuring Bravo, trying to cash in on, you know, an idea and, and try to side swipe, uh, what do you call it? Bravo TV Enterprise and True Entertainment. Okay. Now, you know, you can't do that. You get one paycheck that's big as all get out and you're going to sacrifice it because your fiance is calling himself wanting to make money on the side. That ain't in this article. I'm just giving you my spiel. But going back to the article, it says Bravo made them to pull down the app because their day to day life should be filmed for the show. Not for their own gain. You see what I'm saying? When you're messing with the white man and the money, you better adhere because you know you don't sign the contract. And how you overlook overlook that loophole, Dennis Torture, I don't know. But they got bigger and better lawyers than both both of you could ever afford. Trust it. And they can have it being in court for a long, long, long dragged out time. And then you'll just be out for the count. And I don't think this nation is going to hold you and all your other little uh, ventures you have gotten going for yourself, for you, okay? So don't let Dennis mess up your money, okay? You had uh, Bravo Entertainment in your pocket, in your purse before you met Dennis. Now keep that aesthetic quote and get that prenup, girl. Get that prenup. Sign it. Sign it before you walk down that aisle, girl. Okay, you're going to come up short. You're going to be out like like clout, okay? Number two, Porsche is getting a wedding spinoff. They set the wedding date at 1-1-2020. Basically, forced Bravo for the spin of, because filming ends in October. And the cheating rumor helped them for a breakup to make up storyline because they need to save, save the wedding date planning storyline for the spinoff. Cynthia might set the date of 10-10-2020, which would guarantee her a peach for season 13, and their wedding will be a uh, season finale. Okay, now we already done had a season finale with her and Peter trying to uh, get married, and we saw how that turned out. So, hey, I'm glad uh, Portia solidified herself uh, with having someone pay for her wedding, and she don't have to pay for it. Kudos to you. Candy did it, Nene did it, so why not you? And Cynthia Alice is giving you time to really think about the situation on whether you want to walk down that aisle and giving you a season spinoff, whether you get married or not, uh, to be able to appear on season 13. So that's good, good, good for you, Cynthia. You'll still have a job regardless if you get married or not. That's what I'm saying. Because a breakup is much better than a makeup in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It drives entertainment. So, yes, look forward to seeing you and congratulations on season 13. God willing for you. Okay. Number three, you got Nene is getting suspended for the first few episodes, not only because of her behavior last season, and we talked about her behavior, meaning she pulled that cameraman and, and knocked out a tooth, allegedly. Okay, so she's trying to say it didn't happen, but we all know who got eyes to see and ears to hear. We know what really happened. Okay, um, and it said because of her behavior last season, but also because she tried to strong on the production and failed miserably. OK, this is what she tried to do, but it failed miserably for her. And she should stop those antics, worry about her own money, her own dollars and securing other financial ventures instead of trying to keep people off the show. OK, but going into it, back to the article, it said last season at the beginning of filming, she promised production that they didn't need Kenya. The new direction of sisterhood will work. That's why there was no big drama in the first half of the season. However, but the ratings fail big, big. They had the biggest rating drop last season compared to any other shows. Demo rating dropped from nine to seven. Now, you know, these white people don't be playing about their money. They give you a check post dated and they deliver on giving you the cash, your revenue. They want their drama. That's what you signed up for. That's what you signed in the contract. They want their money. OK, they don't be playing. They don't be playing. And the ratings tells everything. OK, so that's why. We had a little mess. Kenya came back. She received her peach full-time honorary uh, membership back into the club. And she ain't trying to lose it for nobody. Mark, uh, 
and your friends or foe. Shoot, if she had to take her baby out the line, like, to save her spotlight, she would do that as well, okay? But anyway, we're going to number four. Last season, after the Miami trip, at the beginning of the season, the production flew Kenya to New York to talk about her contract, but she was not willing to take any pay cut. And this upcoming season, she got a raise from season 10. Nene is not the highest paid. Candy is Candy is housewives are paid per episode, and Nene is not getting paid for the episode she was suspended. Also, Eva's wedding was supposed to be last season finale, but there was no significant drama last season, so they had to extend filming. And also, part of Nene's outburst in the closet accident was because of production pressure. Bravo was not happy with the footage, so she knew she had to make a scene to boost the rating, and she couldn't break the fourth wall so Bravo didn't fire her although she assaulted producers okay she's up there shaking and baking up there and they were like oh okay okay well we do kind of need you because you do brain drama but look at here look at here you start some mess we will find somebody if we have to promote Kenya to the top and drop your pedestal all the way down to a friend of the show <laughs> we can do that and we will Nene Okay, proof is in the pudding, baby. Proof is in the pudding. So don't sabotage yourself. Sit, think, and then react. Okay, Nene, sit, think, then react, baby. Okay, then we go to number five. Can you carry the upcoming season? She and Nene are guaranteed to sit next to Andy during the reunion. Okay, one on the other. It's just like, woo! I got my bad side. I got my good side. I got my good side. I got my bad side. And Nene and uh, Kenya are on both of my sides. I don't know which way to turn. I don't know which way to turn. But anyway, to the HBIC or to Team Tornado tornado Twirl. I don't know. Am I going to twirl? Am I going to twirl? Am I going to be sitting on my pedestal looking down at the peasants? I just don't know what Andy going to do. But okay, that was in my, my sidebar, not in this article. They said Kenya carried the upcoming season and she and Nene are guaranteed to sit next to Andy during the reunion. At the time, only halfway through filming, Kenya already feud with over half of the cast. First she started Eva, Marlo, Nene, Yorana, and Tanya. Don't expect Kenya and Portia to tag team on Nene because Portia and Nene made up. Nene made up with everyone besides Kenya, and Kenya and Nene have multiple nasty fights throughout the season. Okay, we're here for it. We are all here for that drama, okay? Nene can handle her own, and Kenya can handle her own. So it's going to be an explosion, okay? An implosion on Real Housewives of Atlanta, at least some of those episodes during season 12. That was my spin. That wasn't in the article. Okay, we go back to uh, number six. The problem with this cast right now is half of the cast not contributing drama. I know. See, that's what I'm saying. Drama is what fills this show. My reviews, other people reviews, the bloggers, and anybody else that want to come out to hype a reality show up. We the one that give them fuel. We keep adding fuel to the fire, making y'all want to get updates from us and, and, and make us want to give you all to go and watch this show. It all works in the wash. It all washes out clean. One hand washes the other. Okay. Anyway, uh, that was my pun intended, not in this article, but it says um, the problem with this cast right now is half of the cast not contributing to the drama. Candy has become Cynthia number 2.0. That's right, because Candy ain't giving us nothing. But then again, she's just giving us how to make money out there in Hollywood, how to make money for your family and your uh, livelihood. She ain't into trying to be in the beef with nobody. <laughs> But the only thing Candy can really give up is she like to cry. Okay? And when people like to cry that's kind of quiet, you better watch them ones because they are ready to get on and uh, try to destroy somebody and some things. Okay? It just is what it is. All right? But um, it says she has drama this season. Okay? Portia is trying to be Sonya. And be a com- comedic relief and doesn't have much drama. So only Kenya and Needy and the friends of the show carry the drama prospect of what's going to happen on the show. Then you got Eva. Eva is pregnant but did have petty drama with Kenya at the beginning. They are both BFFs for now. And just like I said, you know, I ain't about got time for all that. You know, we can watch subtle drama if we wanted to, too. 
But we want drama. We want the minor senseless drama to add up and make sense. And half the time it don't, but we get our kikis and we be ready and willing and waiting for the next episode. Okay? That was my pun intended, not in the article. Going to number seven. What happened in Toronto? Yovana recorded Cynthia talking crap. And Nene and Nene and Marlo confronted Cynthia in Toronto. Can you stood up for Cynthia and told Nene to F T no I'm sorry. Uh, STFU, y'all know what that means. Shut the fuck up. That's what that means. And Nene and Kenya got into it. Portia and Yvonne got into it as well regarding something Yvonne said about Dennis. We don't like all this he say, she say stuff. We need people to come out and confess, stand in their own shit and say, yeah, I said it. We don't need the subliminals. We don't need none of that. We need to say, okay, so so said it. We're going to bring her out or him out and let him tell it to your face. Okay, because that's how we roll. We don't mind saying something in the dark and in the light. Let's just make us perfect people. <laughs> you get it from the horse's mouth. Okay, and I can respect that other than all this other uh, backbiting and behind-the-scenes stuff in the subliminals. Uh-uh. Tell me who said it and let me go for them, okay? That's my sidebar, not in the article. But going back to the article number eight, it says the Kenya and Mark divorced. Their marriage had problems. Mark is not a better, uh, uh, it's not a very hands-on dad and husband. Kenya did all her IVF shots all by herself. What? Who? Uh-uh. Ooh, I'm sorry. Mark is scared of needles. The divorce announcement is very subtle. They did a talk show appearance on Monday. What he was? Oops, Mark. Yeah, Mark hosted a charity event on Tuesday film, and they announced the divorce on Thursday. Can you find out the next text? And uh, message from Mark was some girl after the charity event and dumped him. What? Let's go back. Let's rewind. The divorce announcement is very sudden. They did a talk show appearance on Monday. Mark hosted a charity event on that Tuesday. It was filmed. And they announced the divorce on Thursday. Can you find out the Nick women? Can you find out the text message of Mark with some girl after the charity event and dumped him? I don't remember that. Maybe somebody can play it up for me because it seemed like everything was just crashing one time after the other or one after the other. That don't make too much sense because I never I never got that to you about Mark. You know, being with somebody else right after that uh, Wimbush house fiasco. Okay, but maybe somebody can make it clear for me. Do that for me, fact checkers, okay? Number nine, what happened in Greece? Spitgate, they went on the big cash trip right after Kenya's divorce announcement. So no questions. Uh, Nini attached Kenya using her failed marriage. Uh, that must say attacked, not attached, Okay. No, so no questions. Nene attacked Kenya using her failed marriage and they went back and forth and Nene started making hawking sounds like she's about to spit on Kenya. Ooh, that was rude and nasty and all the above, okay? Uh, like she's about to spit on Kenya, but she didn't actually spit on her. So after the fight, some castmates told Kenya that Nene said she was planning on spitting on her. So when they got back in film season, the season finale at Candace Baby event, Kenya and Nene got into it again. And Kenya was like, oh, so you're going to spit on me again. Okay, well, Kenya, no, they said she did spit. So you, you could say she allegedly was thinking about spitting on you. So maybe she was thinking about spitting on you again. Okay, so it never actually happened. Uh, there's no footage of it. And nobody's really saying it actually happened because if anybody had actually gogged up, hogged up, and then spit, it would have been out. <laughs> it would have been out like popcorn at a movie. Okay, that was in my sidebar. Uh, not in the article, but then it says Nene is begging production to edit this out. But we all know they're gonna show it, laugh out loud. And I'm glad, yes, because Nene, if you hog saying you want to hold some spit in your mouth and you know where you did tell him to put that spit, yeah, we need to know. So we could chastise you. We could chastise you. Okay. And so we go to number 10. This season is way better. Then the past two seasons, and there are plenty of drama. I'm waiting for it. I, I'm anticipating it, okay? Moving to number 11, which is the last one. Mark last marriage before Kenya only lasted a year. So kudos for them for lasting two years. Also, Mark had two other kids, or older kids, and they were at Kenya and Mark's wedding. Mark's parents were at Kenya's baby shower, okay? So it is what it is. That was salacious stories, some feedback, some up. Uh, 
up and wanted tea for the future to hold our attention span to go and you know tune in when it comes back on I think it's uh, November 3rd. Okay, it's a Sunday. So y'all tune in and definitely come back to my channel and tell me what y'all thought about it. Because you know I'm going to be doing reviews on them. My girls, they cut up. Yes, they act classy, but then they can get down in them streets and act trashy sometime. Okay? And I be there for them on the upscale and I be there for them on the downscale. I'm one of them ride or dies. Okay? I call it as a C. A spade is a spade. I call you out. When you're doing something fancy and fantastic and fabulous, I let them uh know about it and i share it on my platform but that's all i have for this video you guys uh definitely subscribe 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 share and like my videos okay and that's all i got y'all get down in the comments tell me what y'all thought and please go over and take the polls all right that's how we interact with each other and we communicate throughout the week all right y'all be blessed i'll talk to you next video Bye bye